we're live and on air. Oh, are we on? Okay. Hey, everyone. It's uh, Synergy in Motion back on the air. Um, did you miss us on Friday? I know we weren't there. Um, face. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, some things uh, came up that we were that were out of our control. So, uh, but we're back. And uh, today it's only going to be the two of us, uh, just Mariana and myself. Tom's out on a sailboat, sailing Some, around, somewhere enjoying, on enjoying his coast. time. So, <laughs> but we didn't want to let the whole weekend go without getting back on. So uh, uh, we're here, and uh, today we're going to be talking about why be fit, why be fit, and really what that means is why do you want to be fit? What are the benefits of being fit? So we're going to be discussing that today, just the two of us, and uh, you know, sit back, relax, crack open a ice cold iced tea, and uh, <laughs> let's get this on. So first thing we're going to talk about is why be fit. Um, why should you be fit? What is uh, what's the purpose of that? Why why is that important in our lives? And uh, I'm going to pass it over to uh, Mariana and see what she has to say about this very, very important topic. Uh, go ahead. Um, well, for me, fitness means I can, you know, go to the park and hang out with my son and not feel like two minutes later I want to go home because my legs are falling off. You know, it's, it's something that I think is important as a mom. Um, not just as a, an individual, but as a mom as well, because I get to do things that maybe other parents don't get to do um, as far as physically active or, you know, exercising in a certain way or playing on the playground or, you know, kicking a soccer ball around or, um, I don't know, throwing a Frisbee. I mean, so many people you would be surprised that are just, they get exhausted after just doing the minimal minimal things and um, and not just for my son but for myself I mean the benefits that I've I've come across as far as feeling better mentally physically you know having more energy um, I mean just feeling better overall I think is is my main my main focus not feeling groggy and like I'm need to drag myself out of bed and yeah, but I mean, yeah, that's pretty much my my reason for for exercise and fitness and, and continuing to to push myself even on the days that I, I really wish I didn't have to. <laughs> yeah, I mean, definitely, uh, you know, being fit, you definitely feel better about yourself. Your self confidence goes up. Oh, totally. Uh, you know, you just have more energy. You're gonna feel like you can accomplish more things. And I know, like, just days where I, I don't exercise, because there are days where I don't exercise, mm -hmm. um, few, but there are days, um, I just don't feel as energized. I don't feel, I always feel better after, after I do my uh, workout. I always do. And uh, I, I don't know how to explain it, but just, you know, if you're moving, blood is moving, you know, through your body, and yeah. you're bringing in more oxygen. And and the, the other great benefit, another great benefit of being fit is, for me anyway, I know when I do a workout, after my or during my workout and after my workout, that's when the ideas just start flowing. I mean, it, it's just crazy, like how many things. I start thinking about when I when I'm going through a workout and when I'm done I'm just so jacked up that you know I just want I want to write this stuff down I want to get it out I want to get going on it and it's just a, it's a great way to uh, if you if you're in anything like me you're writing a book you want to do a video yeah. uh, blogging uh, studying for a test I mean whatever it is I mean it's going to help with your you know the cognitive uh, functioning and just how you're thinking and, and these ideas that are going to come to you. So it's just, it's a really powerful thing to be doing. I mean, I, I, just exercising alone, being fit, um, you're going to be more productive. Right. It's going to make you more productive and 
aside from the self-confidence, and it's going to boost your confidence. If you're a fit person, you're not ashamed of how you look. I mean, unless unless you have issues that are more mental, and those are things we do have to overcome. But I think today we're just kind of talking about the physical side. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's definitely, definitely a benefit to being fit. I mean, that's just... So like you said, being able to play with your son so you can go out and enjoy your day, do activities that you haven't been able to do in the past maybe. or yeah. So it just opens up the world to many, many more opportunities. Um, so. yeah, I definitely experienced the self-confidence uh, boost when I did start working out more. Um, I, I can, from my experience, I never really was the type of person who liked working out. Um, you want to make me run, like you better dump me in the middle of the desert and then put some food like on the other two miles where you want me to go because I hate running. I, that's something that I don't like. So I really had to search and find something that I liked to do um, so that I can continue working on it and, and continue moving towards my goal. But I think once I started working out, I really started to feel the confidence, like you said, the self-confidence in yourself. And and I think when you start feeling confident in yourself in like the physical being other, and it starts like seeping into other areas of your life. That That's how I felt. And the, um, the benefits just kind of start multiplying. It's really weird. That's, that so, was my experience, though. So you're saying you haven't always been fit? Of course not. I was not always this thin. <laughs> wow. No, I, uh, after I had my son, I was, like, almost 150. And for my height, it's probably not, like, as noticeable because I'm, I'm kind of tall. But, or for my, I'm, like, 5'5", five, five, I think. And so it's not as noticeable, but I was, I did feel, like, you feel, I felt tired and, started getting depressed and just didn't feel like doing anything or going anywhere and clothes was just starting to get tight because it was obvious that I needed to upgrade my size and I refused to, to do that. Um, so I would always move into like, okay, well, I'm going to like eat like grass for the rest of the month or something instead of exercise. I, I totally would have just preferred to eat a plate of grass before exercising back then and once I realized um, that I did feel good like once I started moving my body you start feeling so much better and it the blood flow like you said the energy levels the blood that starts going to the brain and you just start thinking better and clearer and um, so I think it was moving the transition from just okay I'm gonna eat clean like you know really really clean and go on this cleanse or something so that I can try to lose 10 pounds or something, you know, and it, it just wasn't enough. It was, it was never, um, it was always up and down, like yo-yo. That's all. That was my, that was my diet, the yo-yo diet. <laughs> but yeah, until I started actually implementing uh, a good routine, a good program into my, um, into my, you know, habits, then it really started setting in and I, I was able to like actually keep it there for a while since for now. <laughs> so until, you know, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, you, you said that basically you weren't always fit and, you know, you weren't motivated and you weren't really into it. Um, can you tell us like what was it that got you going, like changed your attitude towards exercise and you know, being more healthy, health conscious. Was there something specific that changed, or is this something you knew you needed to do? Or, um, I mean, thinking back, I I have like my my mom was usually the type of person to kind of okay, let's you know, she'd make like fresh juices or something. It wasn't consistent, but she always kind of had the idea of moving towards a healthier eating. So I kind of had that down, I guess you can say. But what really started pushing me towards, uh, like, actually committing to keep myself at a level where I wasn't going up and down, um, 
it took me getting to 150 because that was the heaviest I had ever been in my entire life. Like, I think it was like a peak, my peak, you know, break where I was like, oh my gosh, like if I don't do something about this, I don't know what's going to happen to me. I don't know if I'll ever be able to get back down. And I really did not want to be the mom that was, you know, dragging herself behind her kids and not being able to run or, you know, have fun with her kids. And I saw that a lot with a lot of people around me. They're just too tired or exhausted. So they just like send their kids outside by themselves or, or with their friends. And, and I didn't want that to happen. I didn't want that to be me. Um, so I started to like see see where I was and where I was heading if I didn't do something to change it. And I knew I had to change something. Um, I think the motivation came, like it was based in that, but having someone to actually be accountable to uh, was really the, the push that actually kept me going because I probably would have stopped. Yeah, so I mean, accountability is definitely, definitely a very important thing, especially if you're yeah. coming from a place where, you know, exercise has not been a part of your life, physical activity has not been a part of your life. You really need to have that accountability. Right. It, it just helps yeah. having someone to support you because, let's face it, it's it's not easy. I mean, there are going to be days where you're just like, I, I just don't feel like doing anything. Yeah. I'm, I'm just not in the mood. I don't have the energy, you know. Mm-hmm. Or something came up, oh, I had to work late, or... You're going to find whatever you can to get out of it. It's just going to happen. So having accountability is huge because when you have someone that's like, hey, what are you doing? You need to be doing your workout. Why don't you do your workout, you know? Yeah. That's either going to piss you off or <laughs> you're going to go, you know? You're going to go, yeah, you're right. I do need to go, you know? I, I need to do my workout. So accountability is definitely, definitely important. Um, so I want to get back to a little bit more of the benefits of being fit. Why be fit? Uh, less doctor visits. You know, I think that's that's huge. You yeah. know, you're not on prescription medication. For huge. Sure. To me, I think that's worth it. You know, I got to exercise 30 minutes a day. Get yeah. out of the doctor's office. Uh, I don't know. Makes sense to me. What about you? <laughs> uh, I know, right? It's like. Um... Ding, ding, ding. I don't know. Taking pills that give me side effects and make me more sick or eating healthy and exercising and not taking anything and taking care of my body myself. I mean, I don't know. For me, uh, doctors and pills don't really appeal to me. I don't like needles or shots at all. So the easier it is and less needles and doctors I see the better <laughs> definitely I mean I know I, 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 I'm one of those people that doesn't want to go to the doctor I mean if I don't have to go to the doctor I don't want to go so yeah. I will do whatever I can to avoid that uh, yeah so being fit that that definitely prevents that it definitely helps with the doctor visits yeah and, and there's plenty of studies out there to prove that it um, is very beneficial to uh, keeping you away from the doctor. So I mean, to recap, so far what we've gone over is you know uh, cut down on those doctor visits, you know, no prescription mm-hmm. meds, uh, things like that. Uh, you don't have to your self confidence, self confidence boost. Mm-hmm. You're gonna feel better, right? Uh, what else did we say? Uh, I'm missing something here. I mean, there's there's tons of benefits. I mean, oh, your yeah. bone your bone health for one. Your bone health is you know, especially women, mm-hmm. small frame women when they age, they they have a real high risk of getting osteoporosis. So, really important to be doing weight bearing exercises, like squats and you know different things where you're you're getting the the more of the pounding on the on the ground. So your bones are you're keeping that bone density. Yeah. When you stop working out, it starts to generate. So, very important. It's not enough just to cycle because there's no no weight bearing going on there. So you're not going to get the the effects on the bone. Maintain that bone density if you're just cycling. You need weight bearing exercises. 
So. Can you give us some more examples of weight bearing exercises? I mean, like, like I said, squats, lunges, um, anything with a load, anything uh, resistance training, any kind of resistance so like training, weight lifting. Weight, weights, yeah, weight training. Um, jumping, but jumping's more intense. You gotta be at a higher level of. Uh, Fitness, not have any any weaknesses to start doing the jumps. It's not it's not mm -hmm. good for everyone. They could actually hurt themselves. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. um, this weight bearing. I mean, anything where you're lifting a load. So not you know, the load of laundry. <laughs> not a load of laundry. No, like weights. Although, yeah, I mean, even a load of laundry. That's that's functional training. You know, that's this. It's just practical, but. Yeah. If Probably you think, not as heavy as if you laundry. think about it, let's say you have no money, you can work out with a load of laundry. You can. Yell on the milk. There's no excuses, is what I'm saying. No excuses. You here. find yep. a way. You can lift up freaking library books. You know, <laughs> find a way. I mean, I have taken a duffel bag and filled it with rocks <laughs> that I got from Home Depot, <laughs> like gravel, like river, river gravel, and lifted that. Cost less than five bucks. I oh, mean, you've made some really cool medicine balls out of um, deflated oh yeah. basketballs or soccer balls, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I take uh, old soccer balls or uh, basketballs, and yeah, just uh, guys, we don't have to be rich here. You don't have to spend a lot of money to get fit. I mean, it, you can create your own equipment. It's not hard. You take a basketball, you fill it with sand. Or you yeah. fill it with gravel, or you fill it with rice, and you put yeah. some duct tape on it, some Gorilla Glue. Gorilla Tape works amazing with those things. I made one myself. It was. It still hasn't fallen apart. I don't know what to do with it, because I, I really don't need it anymore. <laughs> I would suggest a smaller ball than a bigger one, just because if you fill up a big one, it's going to be too heavy to even move. Yeah, so maybe one of those, like, um, uh soccer balls or the basketballs that they have for like the the toddlers and stuff like the um, yeah nothing like a soccer ball's a good size soccer yeah. ball's a good size like a small like nothing too big yeah like the the not the like uh, major league size like they have different sizes right what do they call those the soccer ball <laughs> the full size i don't i don't know what no, I guess I guess I'm talking about like the junior size. They have like smaller and then like the regular, not like a toy plastic thing, but it's like a, a made out of leather still, but it's just a smaller dimension or oh, smaller okay. diameter. Yeah, I mean, what we're, all we're saying we're doing is a, uh, uh, wait over there. Can I hug you? Ow! We're on a yeah. live hangout, okay? Yeah, all, all we're all we're saying Sorry. is that it doesn't take a lot to be fit. Um, if you're having trouble with this, if you're having trouble getting started, you just don't know what to do, if you just look below this video, there's a little button there and it just says, uh, what does it say? Make me your coach, something like that. Get free coaching. I think it's get free coaching. Get free coaching, that's what it says. I so, yeah, just, you know, down there, get free yeah, coaching. There's a little link. Click and, on the button. Uh, whoever's page you're watching this on is going to go to us. So. Uh, whoever that person is. So it could be me, it could be Mariana, it could be someone else. I don't know. But uh, we're out here, we're here to help you. You know, that's that's what we're here for. Um, I have quite an extensive background in fitness and health. I won't go into all the details, but I've been doing it for a while. I know quite a bit about it. I practice it daily. Um, right now I'm doing a lot of sandbag training. And uh, that's a whole different thing, but I enjoy doing that. Um, Mariana does her own thing. She does a bunch of different um, programs herself that I know that she likes and keeps them fr keeps it fresh for her. So yeah, all we're saying is it's 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 not something that you have to feel so overwhelmed that oh I'm by myself I don't know what to do I don't know what direction to go. Um, you got us. We're here for you. Yeah. Yeah. And we want to help you reach your goal, whatever that may be. So if that's as, as small as just going for a walk every day, and you need someone to remind you to go for a walk, we're here for you. You know, it's and, and walking, by the way, is one of the very best exercises you can do for yourself. So there you go. Walking, it doesn't cost a dime. Go for a walk. You're going to feel better. 
Okay, just just the walking movement will make you feel better. It's good for your heart. It's good for your bones. It's good for oh, your yeah. bones. It, it, it's a low impact exercise. So just go in for a walk. And go for a walk with a friend or take your dog or something. You know, just make it fun. Listen to some music. If you have a scenic area, like like we have the beach, and we're very lucky to have that kind of a thing right next to us. I mean, you definitely, yes. definitely take advantage of that. So there's a lot of nice scenic areas. I mean, maybe you don't have that, but, you know, just find find a way. Find something you can do. Yep, I, I definitely feel like the um, find a way, make a way has a lot to do with whether or not you want to decide to do this um, or whether or not you want to decide to just, you know, get used to moving your body a little more, you know. It's something that you just have to um, have to just keep going and doing. Otherwise, if you stop, it just the habit just goes away and you have to start all over again. Yeah, I mean, it basically just becomes a habit, you know. After 21 days, it's a habit. So if you can get through 21 days, you're well on your way to success. You're well on your way to, to reach your goal. So I don't know, what what are we doing on the next Hangout? What's our, what's our topic? Oh, you know? next one, nutrition versus exercise. Oh, okay. Which that's one is a, better? That's a good one right Which there. one would you do? Mm -hmm. That's a good one. That'd be a good there. one. Um, yeah, so we're going to discuss what would be better if only you had food or you had, uh, if you had to choose, eating right only, not exercising, or just exercising. Um, what's better? So that, I, that, I'm excited about that topic. That's a good topic right there. Yeah, should be good. Um, so yeah, so we don't have, I know we, we have 8 a.m. set on there for uh, Pacific Time, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And 11 a.m. Uh, Eastern Time, but at this time, that could be changing. Uh, we're we're in a process right now of trying to nail down uh, yeah. what's going to work. But Transitions. You can always watch the recordings. You just come back to this page you're viewing it on right now, and you can watch the recordings. And uh, you know that's and as soon as we know, we will let you know. So as soon as we know what we're doing, when we're doing it, just know that we will have something. There will be a hangout. There will be something coming down the line. Um, it may not always be at the same time. It may be yeah. changing. So just bear with us because, you know. Monday, I think we should be good in the morning, though. It's just life. You know, things yeah. change in life. you got to adapt. So we're adapting. Um, <laughs> I mean, I gotta tell you a little story just before we get off, and I actually did a video about this. But you know, I thought like doing a hangout would be cool because I want to help you know help you guys, motivate you, inspire you to reach your goals. You know, and not only fitness, but you know, personal growth, like help you in all aspects of your life because that's just really what we're about. That's what we're doing, and uh, we just felt this would be a great forum for that. But, so I, I was like, okay, cool, let's do a hangout. Let's start doing those. And uh, let's uh, let's see how that goes. It shouldn't be too difficult to set this up. Well, <laughs> there's one little problem. My computer sucked. You know, it just would not, it would not work. For whatever reason, the speed, the internet speed was not working. And, and if you watch the first two hangouts, is what you're going to see. You're going to see a little bit of choppiness, and that's because of my lovely computer. Um, I've got the problem solved now. At least it seems like it's solved. Yeah. So we shouldn't have any of those better. hiccups anymore. So I just I just wanted to share that because it was uh, it's one of those things where if you have a will, you make a way. You know, and yeah. uh, I definitely wanted to do this. I definitely want to provide this for you guys. I really think this is going to help you a lot. So, I mean, we really think so. That's why we're doing this. That's why yeah. we're taking our time to do this. So, hopefully you're getting value. Hopefully you get something from it. Again, uh, just uh, if you want one of us to be your coach, go ahead and just uh, click on that button below. And do you have anything else to add before we shut this down today? I think that's all I got. Um, yeah, I mean, there's always a way to get things done. 
I mean, if you really want to do it and you really want to start feeling better and energized and create um, a, a, a world around you or in your mind of, of self-confidence and, and recreate yourself in that way, uh, just find a way. I mean, even if, I mean, I was doing exercises at 10 o'clock at night because I, that was the only time that I had to myself after work and after putting my son to sleep. I mean, you just have to do it whenever you have to do it. That's just the bottom line. Just do it. Yeah. <laughs> Nike, just do yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, but I, I think that's all I got. All right, cool. So uh, we'll see you uh, on the uh, next one. If you're watching this on my page, and check my Facebook. I'll be putting the post up so you'll know yeah. when to come in. I know it says 8 a.m., but just keep an eye out. We'll let you know uh, when it's coming up. Definitely. If you're watching it on Mariana's, just t check her Facebook as well, and uh, you'll you'll get the updates. And if not, catch us on the recording. So we'll see you on, on the next uh, Hangout. All righty. Energy and motion. You got to wave. We have viewers. Wave and do the happy dance while we leave. <laughs> <laughs>